Greetings, Star Trek Fleet Commanders. I am the Angry Rhino. I'm so excited. Finally, after long last, only like a few months, I got Hugh. Go me. I'm doing on the screen here. I'm killing free booties right now. I don't have Hugh on because what I'm going to do... Well, I, Jesus, I died. Holy shit. Wow. What I've been planning on this whole time, waiting to get Hugh, is to do a mini-series centered around Hugh. From what I can tell, he does help a lot. The girlfriend has him, so I've kind of seen him a little bit. But not every hostile is going to be... How, how do I want to say that? Not every hostile grind is going to be affected by Hugh. So, my little mini-series around Hugh is going to be called, Does It Hugh? And yes, I am totally stealing that from... I can't remember. Some other guys go around and do... Something else. Or... Something with something, and it's like that. Does this thing, can it be, you know, can it be something? <clears throat> Let's start out with freebooters now. For now, I'm going to, well, show you the crew here. I'm not trying to change the crew so much. As you can see, I con on the bridge. Because I want the crit chance. Since I'm going to get the crit chance below decks, I'll put hole breach up top. So, <clears throat> try not to change the crew too much. But at the same time, if you're going for crit chance with the freebooters, which I like to do, I think it works for me. If you know, yeah, it didn't work on this, you know, 53 and 54. You get your crit chance below decks now. Well, you don't need them on the bridge. So, do you go for synergy? I would say go for hull breach. It's going to increase your crit damage even more. So, that's the plan. Where the hell system did I go to? And as you can see here, I didn't do much. I mean, I almost got this 54. I, I almost got it. <clears throat> I think to start off or with my plan now is Freebooters today or whenever you watch this video. Then sometime within the next week or two do... Swarms, Borg, and Faction Hostiles. I'm going to go with regular Faction hot or maybe like Dark Space Faction Hostiles, not Heavy Transports. <clears throat> but it can certainly be something added to the list. Early in the video to be asking for comments, maybe. But... Is there a specific hostile that I had not mentioned that you would like to see Hugh tested out on? I realize some of you may have Hugh, but being as how he is an epic officer, maybe you didn't get him that month. Like I didn't. Of course, I didn't. I barely participated that month. Why now? Not only because I got him, but he's in the event store. So... Figured this be a way to showcase him. Is he good? Is he worth the event store currency? What have you. I would recommend not going out and buying him immediately. Let's let the dust settle on the start of this month. For at least a week. And then make the decision. Of course in the end you're running your account. You know, if you're like two shards away, probably not hurting anything to go get him now. Probably not. 
Well, here we go. Here's a 53 and a 54 right here. So let's see if it's better. I have a feeling we're going to see drastic improvement against the Freebooters because of the length of the round. Took a lot of my shields, but really did not take much of my hull. And because the battles go so much longer, you're going to get that crit chance earlier. And with hull breach, you're going to have that for almost the whole battle. But if you think about, let's say, Borg, at least when I was doing Vidar, let's say, specifically Vidar and the low 30s, you know, 31, 32, 33. Some of those battles, at least for me anyway, they were only going three rounds. And that was unless you used seven, five, and whoever for synergy. Then it would go like one, maybe two rounds. So are you going to benefit from Hugh with that? I don't know. My initial thought is no, but that is essentially what this mini-series, if you will, is going to be all about. Well, look at that. Yeah, it took a shit ton out of my shields, but what am I, what am I down to? About three-fifths hull? So I lost, what, two-fifths hull? I mean, that's pretty good. Now, how many freebooters a day do you need to kill? <clears throat> well, for me, for my faction dailies, I need to kill three fifty twos. Now, take care of my fat. Take takes care. Take cares. Takes care. Takes care of my faction dailies. But then, what I need to do? Kill four more to take take care of swarms. Now I do need to kill less, uh, not less, but a smaller hostile, but who likes changing systems? I don't like changing systems. So hopefully I can kill seven. Probably depends on what is in here more, 53 or 54. <clears throat> that 53 didn't seem to, well... I really don't want to kill this one. I mean, I'm doing testing. I mean, that, that one's basically dead. It's not really going to do anything for me. As far as, you know, testing purposes. But for the most part... Freebooters? Yes, it does hue. Hue is absolutely increasing my kills on freebooters. Well, let's go kill a 53. What have I killed? What is that? One, two, three, three 53s and two 54s. Actually, let's go find that 54. Try to make this right. Uh, well, sure. Because then this would make it three and three. Three fifth. Nope, didn't get it. Okay. Well. I'll have to see what I can do. I could probably Cerrito and probably be able to take out seven in one of those systems instead of coming to this 53 system. Not that I really need to. The problem is 52s have, as far as I'm concern has a shit spawn rate in this 50 system so i would really like to go to this 53 system all right what the hell am i talking about all right let, let, let's look at the battle log let's see this is a victory on a 53 without hue went 53 rounds wow holy shit that is a that is a shit ton of rounds, I'll tell you that. 
All right, what do we got going here? Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, 14 rounds in, I'm still getting. Wait. Go a little earlier. <clears throat> Let's say four. Now I'm still getting. I mean, that was that was all crits. All right, so here's one where I'm not at max crits yet. I mean, three there, two here, but only one there. That was third round. Yeah, so I mean, it takes a while to get for the crits to build up because of Khan, and that's just the way Khan is. Of course, it didn't take too long. But at the same time, I don't have hull breach either. So let's just take a look at this battle log. 36 rounds. Not as much as I would have liked. Wonder if there is a better crew. I mean, I have a tier 4 pike, so... Tough to say if there is a better crew than that. Okay, now is that him actually activating? Well, it looks like it. Because there's all three right there. So yeah, what is that, round two? Was that round two? It's two rounds and I'm already... Like maxed out my crit chance, which is nice. And then getting whole breach. So <sighs> Yeah, I was hoping for a little better results, but not terrible. However. So comment below. Do you have you? Are you planning on getting him from the event store if you don't have him? And how close are you to tier 2 or tearing up? And are you curious if it's worth tearing him up? I don't know yet, but that's something hopefully we'll get a little more into as this mini-series, if you will, moves on. So, yep, that's it. For this episode, anyway. Be sure to like and subscribe. I am the Angry Rhino. Shields up, Commanders.